Hi, everybody. This is Harry from Someone in, Someone's in the Kitchen with Harry. Uh, we have an exciting program for you today. Uh, real excited because we decided to hit the road. Yes, we usually film out of uh, Las Vegas, but uh, this time we decided to come to Southern California. But before we get started, a couple housekeeping rules real quick. Uh, we'd like to have fun. Uh, we'd like to speak truth here. Uh, and we got an amazing program for you today, but we want to give a special thanks to WYTV7 Christian Broadcasters Network. Uh, they're our, our sponsors, so thank you very much to them. Uh, support them as we support you, and as this program grows, uh, you'll see some of the outstanding uh, features and benefits that we're going to have to make your life easy. So today, we are in Southern California, Tomorrow we'll be in Southern California filming another event. Today we're, in, we're kind of inland Southern California, and tomorrow we're going to be down in Huntington Beach, guys. Woo! Right. Okay. Well, we're actually in Corona, Eastville. Now, I got a special guest here who's already corrected me. That's Mom. Mom is our special guest today. Hey! Okay, so Mom is going to be here. Mom has been correcting me my whole life, and she's... You know, I'm 57 years old and she's still correcting me. You know, moms are always right, no matter what, guys, right? Even when they're wrong, they're right. We know that, yeah? So, today, we also have another special guest, and that will be my nephew, Shawnee, or Sean Joseph. I like to call him Shano or Shawnee. Here's that, look at that strapping young lad right there, okay? And uh, he's going to be our taster today. Today, we decided to make the signature... Spanish pork chops. Now these Spanish pork chops were my grandmother's recipe. And throughout the years when they were cooked, uh, whenever my, uh, my mother or my grandmother was asked, what they would ask our guests, what is it that you would like to have? They always said, we gotta have your pork chops. Gotta have the Spanish pork chop. So it's another signature dish with a wonderful meal and get big time kudos for it, okay? So the, the main ingredients obviously are pork chops. Uh, you, you sear them, okay? Uh, searing's the key. Put a little bit of olive oil. We're big on olive oil here, okay? Uh, uh, olive oil is great. Here's a, here's a little secret, another freebie for you guys that I told you we give a lot of freebies away here. Uh, some people like butter, and butter's fine, okay? But butter will burn in the pan. If you just put butter in it, it'll just burn it, right? The butter burns. And people think you have to use butter or you have to use olive oil, either one. Here's the secret, guys. Put some olive oil in there, right? And when you put the olive oil in, put in your butter. The olive oil keeps the butter from burning and it'll give you that butter taste that you like for your food, okay? That's a freebie, guys. Okay, so... You put in the onions and you put in the garlics, uh, garlic. You season the, the, you sear the meat. Uh, always got the sear is the secret. You add some uh, tomato sauce, three cans of tomato sauce, I believe. Pour some water in with a little bit of uh, consistency that you like. Some people like their sauce thick. Some like it more thin, watery type. Whatever your liking is. We're gonna give you the basic foundations of, of cooking, right? And then you, you tweak it, if you will, to your liking, to your family's taste buds, okay? Once, once that you, you have all this together, add the infamous Lowry spaghetti sauce. Yes. All right, spaghetti sauce. Seasonal salt. Okay, seasonal salt. I'm thinking about the Lowry spaghetti sauce that we did on our last episode. Sorry, guys. So Lowry seasonal salt, very, very good to put in there. For your meat, you can also use some garlic salt from Lowry's as well. All of these items, whatever seasoning that you like to put in your cooking that you're used to, you're more than welcome. We just show you what we've done over the years, which we feel like has been the uh, the the main ingredients that make it taste the way that it tastes. Okay. So let me bring mom in here. Mom, come in here. Okay. Grab that plate. Slide it over here. We're gonna. Try and give you a look see. Hopefully, I won't spill everything here. Hope, oh, little bit, little, little. Hopefully, you can see that. Uh, we'll be posting pictures on our website of, of the food that we make. So, we just have some regular white rice, 
you cook in a rice cooker. Of course, if you're Spanish and you want to do Spanish rice, you can do Spanish rice as well. Okay, Spanish yeah. rice, Spanish pork chops, you know, kind of like a date thing, right? Okay, you have the pork chops here. Uh, you can see the tomato sauce. Uh, you can have a, a salad with it. I'm going to show you in the future of an amazing family salad that we make as well. But, or you can make a salad any way you like, and you can have corn with it. You can also have green beans. Um, I, I, I think it was, um, what was his name? Uh, God, W.C. Fields. Pork chops and applesauce. <laughs> you can have pork chops and applesauce. I told you in our earlier program that uh, applesauce goes well with the kids, okay? Complements any kind of dish you're going to make just about a great uh, item that you can put on it as a side dish, okay? So the whole process takes about 45 minutes. Uh, I like to use electric skillet to do this, again, because of the even heat, even cookware on there. Comes out really, really good. You could do it in a oh, this is uh, Yeah, my mom's got this like ancient of days, guys. I mean, I think like these are like cooking this thing. Oh, she's gonna get, she's gonna, mom's gonna come after me. Uh, this this electric skillet she has is as old as my sister. My sister is 58 years old. It's still working. And it's still working, guys. It's still working. So of course you can get them nowadays a lot, probably like 20 bucks at your local Walmart, Target, wherever you shop for your uh, um, hardware like that, your cooking utensils. Uh, very inexpensive to buy electric skillet and you can use it for a number of different things. So I encourage you, as you follow us in this program to invest in electric skillet if you don't have one already, okay? So uh, after you put everything together, like I said, it takes about 45 minutes there, 45 minutes on a kind of a low setting and just let it do its thing, simmer. let it simmer and uh, you can taste it occasionally. Uh, and speaking of taste, now I'm gonna bring my nephew on. But I gotta share a story. He doesn't know I'm gonna do this. Mom don't even know I'm gonna do this, okay? There's a story here. We all have tight-knit families, right? I mean, I think everybody would agree that to some degree we have some very tight-knit families and there's a lot of love in our family, a lot of love in this kitchen. I told you the magic happens here in the kitchen, right? Okay, uh, and uh, uh, there was a time some years back when I first moved to Las Vegas. Well, when, when I transitioned, from, from Southern California to Las Vegas, my nephew, who's gonna be our taster here, who you saw briefly, he was a wee little lad. He was probably about seven, eight years old. Uh, him and his brother, basketball stars, they're still in basketball. I think they were born with a basketball. The ballers. Yeah, yeah, they're ballers. There you go, they're ballers, okay? And, and, and so uh, I was living with them until my, me and my son were living with them, my sister, his, his, his mother. Uh, I was living with them. We were living with them until we were able to find our own place, probably like two months or so. Then we finally got our own place, uh, moved out. But here's in basketball with them, you know, and we're doing our little thing, you know, and we're, as they say, trash talking on the court, you know. Mm -hmm. We kept it clean. We kept it clean. He was a little guy. I wasn't going to, you know, expose him to the elements there. And, and so we, we were doing our little trash talking back and forth. And, and, and he went to go take a shot, and I basically got bigger than him. He's a little old guy. And, you know, when we play with the kids, I just, I snatched the ball out of his hand, man. And I said, I told him, you in my house, baby. This is my house. You ain't doing that here, right? And with everything he had, all the gusto, he, he, he was so, like, furious that I got the ball. And he, he went to defend me, and he went down like this, and he goes, you ain't got no house, brother. Oh, no. <laughs> now we are laughing about it. You know, you know, you hear that? They're laughing. You know. He said, you ain't got no house, brother. I was like, man, no. So I took the ball. I said, I want to play with you. No more. You ain't even my friend, let alone my nephew. And, and then I, 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 I walked into the house and I told my sister, you know what your son just said to me? And I told what happened. She goes, well can't get mad at him. He's kind of telling the truth. I'm moving out. I'm moving out next week. I'm out of here, man. So that's, that's, that's the love in the family right there. And with that said, I would like to introduce you to my nephew, Shano. 
college grad, basketball player, entrepreneur, has his yes. own line of clothing, quarterfinals. Here is Mr. Sean Joseph. Can you feel the love? love? <laughs> yeah, that's the most hug I got from him in a long time. There we go. Okay, so this is Mr. Sean Joseph. He's going to be our taster, and he's going to be the one to taste grandma's, okay, infamous Spanish pork chops and tell us exactly how amazing they are. And this is how we do our program. If, if you have a, as we get rolling, if you have a recipe you want to send in to us, something you want us to cook for you, uh, will you, heck, we might even bring you on the show. You can be on the show with someone's in the kitchen with Harry, and, and you can be that special person like Shano is today and my mother. So, uh, Shano, I'm just going to let you have at it, bro, because this is, you know, and growing, I'm just going to let him go for it. And he's going to tell us how it is. So I'm just tasting the pork chop? Well, I get everything you want, but the pork chop for sure. Anything you want. But, of course, the pork chop is the main stick. Yeah, I would, I would start with the pork chop. Mm-hmm. Got okay. cut real deep and tender. <laughs> Easy cut, he says. See? Yeah, it cuts easier than one of my Oh, Ooh. he might be moving to Vegas in miles now. <laughs> hey, so good, make you want to slap your grandma. Oh, how is it, Shadow? How is it, man? I mean, honestly. It's really good. Yeah. I mean, this is one of my favorite meals. Okay. Just like they said, whenever they ask, what do you want for dinner? <laughs> Pork chops and tomato sauce. Yeah. Pork chops. Pork chops and tomato sauce. We've been eating that for a long time. Mm -hmm. Easily made, as I said, folks. Uh, young man, growing young lad here, he, he, like you said, when he asks, when he's asked what he wants, this is what he gets. And, uh, I'll that thing about, you know, his mom will let him take him up. That was his mom when she sees this program. My sister will probably say, hey, you take him. <laughs> I'm sending him to you. But anyway, an amazing dish. Make a young man happy. I'm sure we'll make your kids and the people in your family happy. Uh, watch our program. Support us. Help us to help you. Our aim is to make life easy for you and uh, make it, uh, because we know how busy people are, we want to do quick, fast, easy, and delicious, Ono Delicious recipes. A big shout out to all our fans and family in Las Vegas. Uh, wish you were here with us. We've had a great time filming this, uh, filming this one. Stay tuned tomorrow where we'll be in Huntington Beach, and we got another special great for you. show tomorrow. My, my brother will be there, It'll be me, my brother, uh, and another, my cousin Jerry. I can't tell you where Jerry works. If I do that, he'd have to kill you. Seriously. <laughs> so, but the three of us together in the kitchen, this could turn into a comedy cooking show. We'll just call it CC. So, uh, thank you very much for your time. We hope you enjoyed the broadcast. We'll be looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Uh, once again, a big, huge shout out and thank you to WYTV7 Christian Broadcast Network. See, there's mom in the background. Thank you, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Go ahead, sir. Keep on eating some more, man.